Alright, hello everyone. We're playing Shadow of the Colossus. It's been a while since I've played this. Um, my name's Brody, and I hate... That is, that's not true. <laughs> it's not true. That was Jory the whole time. Uh, I thought about giving you, like, half the episode just to talk for yourself. <laughs> um, Alright, let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Oh, um, yeah, I skipped the beginning because I don't want to force people to watch a cutscene. Yeah, guys, welcome to Shadow of the Colossus. Um, Jory, have you played this game before? Yes, I've beaten it a few times. A few times? On the on the P PlayStation 4 or I've, the original version? This is the first time I've actually played it on the PS4. Okay. I um, need my horse. His name is Agro. Agro. Um, I played... Where is he? I've never played this game, really. It's always looked really cool. But um, I, actually, well, I, I did play it, not for myself, but I played it... Uh, my freshman year at, at uh, college, at uni, my uh, roommate, he was playing it, and it looked pretty fun, and he's like, hey man, you want to you wanna give it a shot? And I gave it a shot, I played it for like maybe like five, ten minutes, I think I beat like one of like the last boss or something like that, I don't remember which one. The last, he probably did like, the first. No, no, he like, he was, he's been playing it for like a while, and then he had you walk in and just give something a shot. Okay. Yeah, so I just walked in. And you beat it? I don't know if I beat it, I, I, I was very casual about it, so if I, I think I did a I don't know. I did well on it. Um, but yeah, I haven't really it's, played this game in, before, though. In all honesty, and not to take away from your victory or anything, the game's not too difficult. I, I'm playing Thanks. on... I'll, I'll, uh, full disclosure, I'm playing on normal difficulty because I didn't want to try... I don't want to play on hard for this, for recording. In my free time, I generally try to play hard difficulties for every game possible. But not, not when I'm going to perform... Or try to record or anything, because yeah, you want to want have you want to have an enjoyable time. It gets to points where uh, sometimes I uh, I take way I try something for way too long. All right, uh, where are we if off I hold to? Back, so I launch myself. That's how that works. Now, where are we off to right now? I would get a colossus. Are we going right to a colossus, or do we have to do something else first? Uh, we're going right to. Frick! I always forget how this part goes. I got up. I don't know why I always have trouble your, with this. What about your horse? Oh, he's, he'll find his way up eventually. Cool. Cool. And I just gotta jump over there, right? Mm-hmm. I guess. I guess not. This is embarrassing. Cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna only record the last the last boss just so we finally know what we're doing. <laughs> just skip just skip all the the I rough patches. I should have practiced before. No, no, no. The the we're, it's the journey. It's all not right, the... I, I think I just no no no. Why did I do Dude, that again? Oh, come on. Okay, look. Agro could I'm do a that pro gamer. Than you. <laughs> All right, at least I got this part down. Dude, this is important because it's teaching me how to maneuver on a. If colossus. anyone's asking asking you to speed run something, <laughs> you okay, can... that's the jump. What's the jump? That's X. Okay, it makes sense. See? Yes. That's, there you go. That's... So is this all like updated graphics for the for the re for the PlayStation Four version? Yeah. Okay, because it does look nice. And I think the I think everything about it was kind of made a little better. The camera control. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, yeah, the dive roll. I, I, I remember I practiced this dive roll a million times before we in, started recording. In real life, yeah. <laughs> you were just rolling around the apartment. It's kind of cool because you, you, people who haven't played this game before don't realize that this right here, this just this maneuver is i got to press X, X, grab on with R2, and then pull myself up with X again. So that whole just jumping a ledge is already a lot more difficult than in most games that will automatically let you hold on to stuff, you know? Do you, then this this sounds super this sounds super stupid when when like thinking back on it. But when I was like thirteen or no, I, I would have I would have been like eleven. Uh, oh, what are we doing? Oh, uh, it's don't worry. Okay. He's just going. Oh man. This is the this is the first one. I'll, oh, Minotaur guy. I, I guess kind of. He's I just a know. tall dude. By the way, to squeeze it in real quick, I got an Xbox when I was like eleven, and. I got Fable. Like, Fable 3 came with it. Fable 2? Fable 3? Uh, Fable um, 3 sucked. Yeah, I played the Fable game, and one of, like, I remember citing this as a downside to it, but, like, I couldn't just stand and hit a button and jump. But I guess that was a game, that was a thing that happened in other games that I was just used to. And looking back, like, there's a lot of, there's perfectly, like, so many games that don't do that. But that was one of the things I cited as being, like, a stupid part of Fable. Like, I can't just jump when I want it, it's stupid. There's so many games where you have to, like, walk up to a cliff and then hit jump so you can actually, like, do something. We're going to now focus on this fight. <laughs> no, that's fine. You can go on. No, I'm 
I, I don't it's, know. This part's it's the tutorial, so it can't be like, okay, come on. So all I'm trying to do is hit him in his calf right now, because that'll make him fall to his knees. Bam! See, so press square to step. Then he goes to his knees, and I can I can climb up further on him now because he's in a position that he's makes got it easier. All I gotta do is safely. Okay, 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 okay. I forgot how to like brace myself. I think. Dude, your stamina. I know. I'm gonna probably drop it. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, so he's bleeding. Okay. Wrong. Sorry. All right, we're good. We're good. Now I got it again. There's a horrifying uh, boss. I think we'll get to it, but it's like, oh, the bull boss is scary. Like there straight up is a bull. That's one I think that I played around with or I watched someone. I don't know. So you've played this game? Again, like, I played. I played like for maybe like 15 minutes with my roommate like over two years ago. This is making me look bad. I'm, I'm usually better than this. <laughs> it's okay. It's a learning experience. Let's just get my stamina gauge out more in the before I attempt. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on. Here you go. Stop shaking your little leg. Uh, this is one of the games, earliest games I can remember ever playing as a boy. <laughs> because it had a, uh... This one had a trial, I think. I'm just gonna stand and let this happen. <laughs> Someone had like a uh, oh. tutorial, uh, not a tutorial, but. Oh, okay, now it's. Now the game thinks I'm bad enough to where it needs to give me advice. This dude's just doing a shuffle for you. Why am I so embarrassingly bad right now? So, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to trying to do the thing you just did where you like stab him, he falls, and yes, you kind of Yes, yes. I've done this a million times in the past, and for some reason I'm struggling right now. Okay. Okay, 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 we're good. All you gotta do is stab him. Then he'll drop, then you jump, you climb, you launch yourself up, and then you just keep climbing up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. And then you gotta get to the side. Yeah, but he keeps making it hard, because I keep trying, I get what I was doing wrong. I kept trying to attempt something I had no business attempting, because I didn't have a stamina gauge. Oh yeah, you're still a little boy. Oh, please pull yourself up. I'm trying, but I... Please, God. Oh, yes. And then I think if I'm on ground, I can... Steady myself like that? Okay. Okay, we're good. This dude's dupe was like a shelf. Come on. He's got the one in jealous. Alright, so you see these kind of are like checkpoints. So they only have like they, they show you where the hot spots where you're supposed to stab? Yeah, they glow, those are his weak spots. Okay, okay. And then so I... theory, you could just stab them anywhere, but you know. So this this is not like a This is oh he has horns places where they were. Yeah, they he's, he's not he's not a much of a minotaur. I think there's another one that's maybe a little bit more like a minotaur or Stop. something. I don't remember. Stop doing this, dude. Just let me do this. Come on. Yeah. Really, honestly. Honestly. This dude's a funky monkey. I think there is a monkey one. Dude, is that <clears throat> This dude got a bridge piercing. He must work <laughs> a hot topic. Alright, I think I got it. I don't think so this is just a Colossus just used for teaching? Well, the first few are. They okay. teach you the mechanics. Mm -hmm. That little uh, uh, that little cliff I had to get up to taught us all the climbing mechanics, and then this was putting that uh, that to practice. The next one's going to show me how I have to try to think creatively about how to weaken them a little more with the arrow. Mm, okay. Uh, not, to, not to spoil anything, but... Man, okay. Alright, let's hope I recover myself, and now we're going to sprint away as fast as we can from these shadows, otherwise we die. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit... It's gonna hit you. Get bro. up! Get up! No! Get up. No! Oh. No! Yeah. Okay. This game was one of the earliest I remember playing ever as a boy because on the PS2, and I can't explain it because I was too young to know. On the PS2 or PS1 even maybe. I think it was the PS2 though. Mm -hmm. Um, there was like this a few games that we had the trials for, and Shadow of the Colossus was one of them. Hmm. And this is the one that was my favorite. I don't know any of the other names, but there's one that was like a snowboarding game too that I really liked. There's 1080. I genuinely I cannot, cannot tell you. I Is just it, was it for PlayStation? Something. Yeah, PlayStation. Okay. It was on a demo thing. So oh, like, like one of those demo discs? I don't know if it was a disc or anything. Like I said, it was too young. I just kind of did what my my older brothers were more of like the ones that knew what they were doing. I was just like I know when I was, when like, I was a, Here's a kid, controller, do this. When when I would play like Lego Batman for the PlayStation Two, um, I every time like I would hit I would go to save, it would be like, oh, do you want to overwrite save data? <laughs> and I was terrified by that because I thought that meant like everything would be like deleted somehow 
It just means that I would save it on right. top of the old stuff, so it would just mean the other stuff that was saved applies, but I'm moving forward. And I would always, like, not hit it, and then I just take the disc straight out of the PlayStation 2. And that's one, horrible for the disc, and two, it doesn't save anything. I don't know why, but the Pokemon Red game, mm -hmm. uh, mine got corrupted, obviously, the save file I had a long time ago, but that was just a thing that happened commonly. That's but sad. But for some reason, I got the idea in my head that it was because there was that missing no glitch mm. involved. Um, Did you find missing no or something? I'm going to control the camera angle like it's, like it's an episode of The Office. <laughs> the aggro just looks at the camera and shrugs. Yeah, and look... <laughs> No, I don't know what... I mean, back in the... They have these internal batteries is what those, yeah. what those cartridges did, and it just ran dry. I would, if I would have gotten them replaced, it would have been fine. But no, my Pokemon Red game, I... Oh, there's a whole bunch of stories I can tell about this now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have Pokemon Red, Yellow, Crystal, and Silver, and Gold. I had all of those, and they all had... Okay. They all had their... Well, I have more than that, but those are all the ones that I had that had their battery run dry. Oh, okay. And I think you might have been with me. Someone was with me, but I went and I was like... Looking up places, I was like, I want to play uh, Crystal. Crystal's my favorite Pokemon game, probably, yeah. uh, back then. I like HeartGold the most now, obviously. Mm -hmm. Crystal and Gold, especially, I wanted to replace, because I really wanted to play it. And so, um, I went to this, uh, this, I looked up online, I was like, this guy, there's no one, who, who can replace these for me, you know? I was like, I don't want to do it myself. Yeah. Um, so we looked up who, and there's this one place, one place nearby, out of everywhere, uh, that could do it. And so I went there and asked him, I was like, hey, can you do this? And they said... Uh, we don't do this very often, so we'd probably have to order it for you. Uh, you want to leave your number? And I was like, sure. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah. And they never called you? And they you? never called me, and I went back and checked, and they just like, yeah, we're not going to order them. And I'm like, God you're damn. the one place online that, like, like, offers that. And also, like, the one per one person who's like, oh, we'll give it a shot, and then you just don't? Like, that's yeah, just, seriously. That's just poor... I really poor wanted... And so, yeah, I never got those batteries. I probably... I mean, after then, I kind of just gave up, but mm -hmm. I could have tried harder. I just... Yeah, I have a Pokemon Emerald that the internal clock on the cartridge, like, ran dry. And to my knowledge, it hasn't affected anything. Yeah, it just makes it so that your clock doesn't work on real time. So, like, yeah, it's not, like, nighttime. It, I don't even know if Emerald did that sort of crap. I don't it know. It was, like, I think Diamond. I think 4th or 5th Gen did that stuff. 2nd uh, Gen did it, for sure. 2nd? Yes. Oh, okay. I definitely... There's a day and night cycle in that. Because that's that's when the uh, Umbreon Espeon was in. Sun and Moon definitely did it. That's the most obvious one. I don't. I don't know. That well, that's the one where like Gosh, if you got like I have moon. Do you have sun? Moon. I have sun. Okay, when I have moon during the daytime, if I'm playing at like noon, it's nighttime in the game. I like that. That's the thing I like about Pokemon games. I guess is that they that there's routes you can take in their games because yeah. they release two of them. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's no reason I pick what I pick. Um, I just pick ones that I. I, in, in all honesty, the reason I picked Sword over Shield was because I liked Bia, the gym leader. <laughs> I thought she was cute. Okay. So, <laughs> and then it turns out that I got some even extra bonus cute girl yeah, because of the yeah, DLC ads. Yeah. Uh, I forget her name, but we get the poison type trainer mm, in, okay. in Sword, and you get the psychic in Shield. Mm, okay. Oh, um, I didn't know. I didn't know that they had different trainers or trainers or gym leaders. Uh, Gym leaders. That's I interesting. For me. I get two. You get one. You get a milf in, in Shield. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And, and quite literally, I get uh, I get that milf's son in my game. Ooh. Uh, Gor Gordon. I think his name was Gordo. Maybe it was something like that. He's. I got the ground type gym leader. You get Gordon an ice. Baps. You get. I don't know what her name is. You get an ice type, and I think her name was Melanie. Okay. And everyone loved her because she's a oh milf. Like I said. All right. On 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 this note, we're gonna cut it. We'll see. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I don't know how to end that.